Judd Trump then getting us underway here on quarterfinals day. He's uh, not necessarily hit the heights yet this week, but so uh, far nearly lost to Kasper Filipiak. That went to a decider in, in his first match, but yesterday he was superb against Dominic Daly. He made two centuries to win 5 0 from his own generation. <laughs> That's right, yeah. His first four matches played a series of 40 somethings, all good players, which he came through, of course, the first couple of rounds. I thought he played well in defeat in the Masters to Ronnie O'Sullivan. In sort of watching the likes of Trump and Selby, Robertson, O'Sullivan winning tournaments. and Well, first in, but not for long. Danger away, six. Well, early arrow. It wasn't an easy shot because he was worried about the cue ball in and out of the bunch. One. But it's safe to say that Trump, for obvious reasons, the fact that he, for a period of time, but he's likely to get better, but that's going to hinge, of course, if he can get through this match. Yes, and six each on the head-to-head, -head, so nothing to pick between Seven. them. Years ago now, that's when he got to the final for the first time. Dinger, on, on his week here, he made the point, which I did wonder about, actually. He said the Luka players, half nine in the morning is... He sort of scraped his way over the line in that match. Much better yesterday against Dominic Dale. I did hear, actually, um, Neil Robertson when he came in to the Eurosport studio. Good old Dotty. <laughs> so we'll call that a draw. Oh, but it's uh, another mistake. Yeah, just the extra force put on the ball. Anyone that plays the game will tell you, you hit the balls at pace. Your accuracy can be lost. He's sort of on course to potentially do similar to last season. Eight. And regardless of the table, whether it's playing easy or tough, Gonna have to make him pay, isn't he? Ding Jin Wee for missing that ball. Judd with this, this opportunity. That, that'll do him. 22. The pink is being uses the main potting colour at this stage. A couple of reds by the pink, you'll have to consider. And it might just block something off, otherwise it is a terrific chance to go very near to winning the frame. In a tournament where it, it happens every year that so many of the leading players don't make it past in just the first two rounds of tournaments, but I think they feel different. Because you're only playing two matches, or you hope you are anyway. It's on the left just out of shot at the moment well he's gone around the back of it I don't know whether by accident or design it's got to be a big but the right hand red should go from there it is well he's missed it anyway so seemingly a bit, quite a bit of mileage left in this frame I think As you can see, the table is less appealing now. Ding is back at the table. Both red safe. Pink and black safe. Not really thinking a great deal of that shot. Goodness me, I mean... Got away with it, though. Both well aware of the other's capabilities. That's a good shot, actually. Well, 
not playing a bad safety shot by any means, though. Judd with a... The fact that he's in, in behind the. Well, that's not a good shot, is it? That's Three's not away. a difficult. One. Blue to a corner pocket. I don't think you. Three misses now at crucial moments. Blue, both very Twelve. gettable. But you wouldn't see him miss many of those. So, yeah, the blue in particular because 17. it was a great chance. Having potted the good red, didn't pot the blue, and Judd Trump has done the rest. Trump, Slightly edgy start in what is a big match here this afternoon, this quarter final. Debut in a quarter final in a ranking tournament. Misjudged a few of those shots, actually. And the shot that Judd was playing was, was a nothing shot, really. It shouldn't have involved any is in his mind. And you've got to do the right thing. I mean, if you think you can pot it, then you've got to go for it. Well, even so, he'd left a chance. I'm surprised he played it like that, you know, to put the pink on the cushion the, with the black safe. Could have played it a thicker safe. There's Maya who needs a treatment for a serious condition she can't get on the NHS. They're trying to raise money for her. So you can sponsor Tom if you go to the World Snooker website. Seems to go. Some kind of issue. I think that David Lilly was involved in it where he was asked to declare the colour, didn't bother. A hell of a schmozzle over it, actually. bit more like it. Well. So, a chance. I don't know one player who prefers playing from the cushion or from the... John Parrott was just a good Same. player, full stop, wasn't he? A world champion. Anyway. The studios, everything. Yeah, and there's actually a dance event as well, isn't there? In a different part of the building. <laughs> summer, everything. <laughs> Twenty 
22. That's when he walked to the table. It's part of his game that certainly really improved. The first time these two played, it was his first season. It's very raw, talented, yes, but very raw. He's developed into, as we know, a great all-round player, world number one by a country mile. 38. The season. 44. Of course, made 102 last season. Yeah, very short, but a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a big event. What I like about the German Masters now... Format you see less and less of now. He's looking significant as well because, as Neil said, things missed the blue, but none of that happened, and it's Trump who's leading. Sixty-six. Seventy-two. With check side. Oh, he's tried it. Now, what about this? What about this? That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic shot. Eighty. We've seen him play similar shots positionally. And it's not a shot, really, that is would come up very often. He's just... They've sort of seen other people play. Basically, he just invented a shot there, hasn't he? 20th century of this season. He was very frustrated to miss the Masters. He's been... And oh, this has been an excellent break. And he's in early control. He had a big bearing on the way this second frame has gone. Ding had three good chances, remember, in that opening frame. 101, that's the first century we've seen on table one all week. 775, Hendry in third place on the all-time list. Trump getting closer. Of course, uh, when we're in Berlin, quarter-finals are usually all played on the Friday evening session. It's a very special session, actually, all four. The onus is on Ding if he does get a chance. Uh, going 2 0 down is not really the point I'm making. It's just the way that he certainly should have won at least one of those frames. Anyway, wow. the double goes in. One. Now that's a terrible shot in off is the worst part about it really. Capable of playing very good matches still, obviously, and it's only... No, he sort of won it in isolation. He hadn't done much before, and he hasn't really done that much since. Kept losing to the same player, didn't he? In fact, in this, in Berlin. Seven. bunch here clearly he's got to play it well Reds haven't split very favorably on this table it might have been one of the reasons look at this push shot is always a possibility but it was legal the 
it's, the form is coming back. It only left him. Isolate. It's not as if he lost his form anywhere. He just wasn't allowed to play. 39. You wait two days for one and then suddenly two come at once. We'll see. 47. Bow the, the table and march on. 54. Now, and this match is starting to look 60. very one sided. Sixty six. Again, quite close to this, but again, legal shot. 74. Quite well, unusual for Trump to hit a bolt colour, but just had a little bit too much. Well, no second century, but a quick kill in this third frame. 79 to follow the 101. I think a lot of people were hoping this would be you know, a real close match. It still could be, but I think a lot depends on this frame because Trump is looking really confident. Oh, miss. Strangely, talking about 4 nil down, I've got a feeling, David, you might be able to remember this, whether when Ronnie won this in 2012, it might have been 4 nil down there. I'm not saying Ronnie was never going to win anything again, that would be a ridiculous comment, but it got him back winning ways because he wasn't lifting trophies all the time. Now that he's got this advantage. Risks more, but really it's hard to think that you're going to beat Judd at that game. For once, stays out. Hey, it goes down as a reprieve, really. I was just sort of what? You want to play something a little bit more adventurous on occasions, but you only play the shots that are there. And he looks just a bit. So, something's come up for him now. He's got to take advantage, get in. Well, this is what he needed, I think. One. Chance to get going. His eyes breaking. The match is only 21. Ding. So, yeah, you don't really think of Ding as the kind of player that would just roll his sleeves up some days and graft out matches. Clearly, not every day will be one of those days. And so was that nice, Thirty. developing the two reds, just a, just a little bit more. Yeah, I felt he needed to be something to hold on to at the interval for sure. 38. Of course, when he beat Trump in the final of this tournament in 2014, that was the season when he won five. brilliantly he played during that campaign. 46. No, he's a terrific player. Yeah, he spoke very nicely yesterday, actually, about Yan Bing Tao, just it's paying true. tribute to him.
60. Well, he's going to need one more after the pink. Yeah, and I think it's what the match needed for the neutral observer, which, of course, a lot of people watching. Clearly not over from what we're seeing here. Seventy-four. He's a bit unlucky there. He wanted to be good play on the, the top red though, up in the bulk area. Eighty-one. <laughs> Not one of his better cannons, <laughs> anyway. It doesn't matter a great deal. That's a good starter for him, at least. He's got a frame on the board at last. Yeah, Trump had a couple he played earlier. You'd think, nobody can play that shot, and then suddenly, he plays this one. Yeah, it's quite a surprise. I mean, sometimes you see a player just glance off the blue, hit it full on like that, and almost pot it into the yellow pocket. It was a bad error. Just what Ding wanted, an early in. Seventeen. For Trump error. Twenty-five. Got a feeling the bottom red might be potable to be played right first. Well, that looks as if you couldn't have put it better with your hand. Control. Thirty-three. Well, not bad. Well, it all started. Yeah, not nice shots, those. I expected him to get it. A little jabby on it. What he has done, although he's not won the frame here. Well, it's a very bad shot. So a few mistakes here or there in this match. Joe Trump, six. Caught the brown. Very wayward. And this is the kind of shot that these players were down the way he did. I always speak about Ding's yeah. cue ball control, but it was not sighted there. Anyway, it probably won't matter. That's very good. That's more like the control we expect from Ding Jun Wee. Did out, but he's given himself the chance. And suddenly this match gets a lot closer. 3 0, it was turning into a. Uh... I know a lot of people. He's a player, will have two legacies in snooker. One will be what he's achieved himself, which is considerable, winning the China Open at the age of 18 in 2005. Well, that's right. Of course, uh, when I was part of Barry's, Barry Hearn's Matram team, we had 87, 88, and we, there was the eight players play all of us. They were not very good players at all. Terry Griffith's opponent missed the reds altogether off the break-off shortly. <laughs> and we thought, well, different global sport now. Yeah, well, what came in off the back of Ding was all the investment. But it all started with him. And in this match, he's got going again. Fifty-one. 
And this time it's up to Trump to just tighten up a little bit. I mean, the, the break. This is the match I think a lot of people were hoping. 80. Ding was really on. 86. And with this black, it's a 93 to move to within one. So two impressive frames. This event is part of the Bet Victor European Series. 150,000 to ever shoot out as the next event next week. Of course, that's live on Eurosport. Been an interesting uh, four days. Of Manor in Newport. Yes, I think that for a lot of the players, they'll be pleased about that. Of course, it'd be good for, good for Welsh snooker, of course. No. Well, that was a very attacking safety shot that Judd played. And he's got away with it. Ding, I think, played that with a bit of right hand check side. Which makes the pot more difficult. Wow. Just got to find his game again here now. 12 in a 13 month period. Seven. A period where he also won the Masters and became world number one. But I don't think he's going to stay like that. I was saying it the other day. I mean, He's not going to win the World Championship. Neil Robertson. Ten. He's lost the cue ball there. Yeah, Ten. it was a lot harder than it could have been, and he has missed it. Well, he didn't put that cleanly, and now... <laughs> well, he's good, but he's not good that good. That's not what he played. He wouldn't be too bothered about what had gone on before. Otherwise, at 3 3, be more than a bit annoyed about Finney being 3 3 when he led 3 0 and he was going so well. Well, I suppose he'd done okay there. He, he did flick the blue on the <coughs> way back, but he played it on one red here, which is not easy to play. So Trump back in. But so many matches we've seen this season, last season, where he's been asked the question, he's responded. Yeah, now, however people rank the tournaments, the fact is he's, you know, he won, again, over a, a million last season, second year running. Well, it's a bit of a struggle, isn't it? 
<laughs> but he still hit the yellow. That's unlike him. There was a lot of space there to... Oh, that's very talented, isn't it, to do that? I mean, 21. I know Ronnie O'Sullivan does it, but the reason he played with his right hand was because left-handed... Good enough left-handed to be able to switch hands. Closing the shop here, just playing the snooker. Kind of how he did play it in the end. Hard to think of a way that could have gone. Chance for Trump in this frame. 28 in front. One. And these are the sort of frames that make a difference over the course of a season. They all stack up. And these are the sort of frames he's won a lot more of than certainly he did in the early part of his career. Yeah, you mentioned in the quarterfinals. Yeah, and like you say, a scrappy old frame, but it's one he, he absolutely needed because uh, he had been playing better. He'd well, it's two snookers. Right from the start, it didn't uh, come off the bid for snooker, so that red going in. He didn't get any. Eight. Well, that's not going to make any difference. The frame... Of course, the trophy passed away last year. Judd made that century. He managed to get the black in play quite early. He's played a good shot there, though, hasn't he? And uh, he's cleared the blank, but he's just got to make sure he pots this down the cushion, cushion into that pocket. Played at that pace, it was always going to drop, so... Chance to spring into life and... A couple of times, that's a ding. Not this time, that's measured perfectly. You will. I'm like him to miss those. Well, it's given Ding a chance to fire back. Oh, look at this. Oh. Didn't he play it well? Thirteen. Big chance then for Ding to pull frame seven back. Nineteen. This is the opposite to the Masters where Ding was leading Ronnie O'Sullivan and had a good chance to beat him, just couldn't. Yeah, I think it's a bit unlucky, really. He ran into O'Sullivan playing, I thought, as well as we've seen him. Ding showed signs in that match that he was in good form himself. A 
There it is. Looks easy from there, doesn't it? Well, that sounded horrible. It must have been a miscue. The noise it made. Judd missing us. We're just going back to that shot there of, of Ding Jun Weezy. Well, great relief, I think, for Ding to be back in so quickly because that could have been, well, potentially the end of the match. Yes, I mean, obviously, if he can win this frame at 4-3, clearly Trump is still favoured, but you've always got to be in the match, Ding. But if you get back to 4-3, he's certainly in it then. Oh, wow, it just dropped. Wasn't sure. Must be tight, this. Well played. 13. Sixteen. Ding Wei, sixteen. Yeah, I was trying to work out from Ding there whether there was any real value in playing the snooker. Well, that's a very wayward shot. Pushing the other red out into open play. Again, a bad shot to hit the... The yellow, he's not really controlling the cue ball as you'd expect. Not today. Must have been very, very close to that pink there. Yeah, it looked that way. I mean, the ref. That's a good pot. That's the ball he needed. That was a good pot, wasn't it? I didn't think it was that great a shot to finish there, but. Ding. What I like, though, here is Ding is really fighting hard. He's not playing his best stuff every frame by any means, but... Eight. So it's going to be 4-3. Possible two frames remain here. 15. Trump at 3-0 look the only winner, frankly. But he's not really reproduced that sort of snooker since he led 3-0. That's one frame seven. And he's breaking off in frame eight, looking to force a decider in this quarter-final that's got a bit edgy, it's got to be said. Judd Trump was flying at 3-0. Well, that won't calm his nerves, missing those, because he pots an awful lot more. Than and that wasn't a lot better hitting the blue. The red's up. You can go wrong this. He's not played it too badly, but like I say, reds are always going to go somewhere near pockets. It might be worth the effort. Keep all heading in that general direction. And he's covered, I think, the... Well, he has covered the right-hand red, the one he wanted to. Do see the odd one that does surprise me, I won't lie, but I don't really think that... Uh, ...conditions you get in a tournament. Hopefully, if John's watching, he's, he's OK. Of course, had to pull out of this event. I think he's played it a lot better this time. 
now he's put Ding Junhui in plenty of trouble. That's a very well executed shot. Oh, that's a, such a good shot again. He could be trying to get in behind the yellow and brown again here. Again, it's very well directed. That's another great shot, isn't it? That was more difficult than the. That was not the ready play to hit. Wow. And after a long impasse in frame eight, it's Trump who pots the first ball. What well, Barry's done is sort of below the radar act, which and all that means is he hasn't been on the main table. I think aiming to get far across to the right, so he. Once again, in playing that shot, you've always got the chance of... He said yesterday, Trump, that he wants to play as much snooker as possible at the moment, but I think in this match he's played a bit more than he would have liked. Well, this is a great shot from Ding this time. These two are showing us how to play snookers. That's another oh. great shot. Brilliant. The, the target... Three very different shots as well to get there. Good escape. Well, it's been a strange old match, but this especially has been an odd frame where the balls have been... Or maybe we should say Gilbert O'Brien... David Gilbert, Fergal O'Brien, and <laughs> people that might not be aware of that as much as Griffiths Thorburn, but of course they played final qualifier for the, the winner went to the Crucible, wasn't it? So it was kind of, it was worth it. It was all worth it. <laughs> well, even Rob Walker, who knows you were commentating with, I mean... If you don't know about that match, all I'll say is that I think they were about an hour or so on the colours. for just one point. And it's frames like this where... No, great pot. Of course, the problem with these sort of frames is that with all the safety, the balls invariably do go into safer positions. Black safe, all those reds near cushions. Because look at this. That's why it is possible. Judge Trump, six. Stages. Now, where's this red going to finish? It was a big target, wasn't it? Those reds all lined up. Wow, that looked in, didn't it? That hit the far jaw. It was a sort of frame one of the all-time greats, Stephen Hendry, would have hated. He didn't, didn't enjoy all this, did he? He just wanted to get in and... Trump is certainly keeping his focus well. Yellow and brown, if he gets this shot right. Oh, he got the double kiss, though. Now, that is a mistake. He played up there again, but got the double kiss, which changed everything. Well, our uh, people on the production...
candidate for that when he lost to Neil Robertson. And of course, anyone knows who plays this game. Can't always play well, can't always knock in big breaks. But it's just been a little in the balance recently. Now, this chance from that mistake from Ding, it was Ding. You'd like to think that there'll be a lot in it if he ever come back to the table. Well, his success has been built around a lot of practice and dedication. If Judd can win this just in the last few days, we know why that is, because he's been in isolation. Anyway, that rolled off. I meant to be Because clearly another mistake there would have been end of match. He's hanging on by a thread. So we're back to this, <laughs> 38 in it. That's not, it's not an easy table, but when you're already... Dearly on this red, but he's knocked it in all the same. Is not in well, it's been that sort of frame, it's almost like make a difference. But I tell you, it's not out of the question that Dink could get back into this, although that shot suggests it won't happen. And it goes well. The match promised a lot, didn't it? And getting over the winning line and, and still being in the tournament that's about the best you can say of it. Well, that. This is not looking good. And a little acknowledgement from Ding. There's the concession. So the defending champion...